In 2010, LeBron James made the decision, leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers to join the Miami Heat. But what if LeBron never did this, and instead decided to spend the rest of his career in Cleveland? Would he still be able to win championships, or would he remain ringless for the rest of his career? That's what we're here to find out. For season number one, I'm not going to lie to you guys, the team is looking rough. Antoine Jameson is LeBron's second best player, and he's only an 83 overall. He's also 34 years old. There's no doubt that LeBron's going to have to carry this season, but hopefully Cleveland's front office can get LeBron some help in the near future. Season number one is wrapped, and Dwayne Wade wins the MVP over in Miami averaging 31 points a night. No awards for LeBron James this year but he did make all NBA first team averaging 26, 8, and 8. Overall it was a solid season for James and the Cavs barely made their way into the NBA playoffs with 42 wins and in round one we're going to be taking on Miami. LeBron taking on MVP D Wade and also Chris Bosh. This is going to be a tough matchup here. Game one of the series will go to the Heat. They also win game two. Miami's going to take game three. We finally get a win in game four, and we're also going to take game five. Is there a chance that LeBron makes a 3-0 comeback on the Heat? Well, in game six, we've got a close one. A minute and 16 seconds to go here. Miami has the ball, and your Cleveland Cavaliers are down by five points. We're going to have to put together some quick stops, but we're still in this game and LeBron James is defending Dwayne Wade. James we need a stop here. Wade's attacking the basket trying to back down James. He swings it over to Chris Bosh. Bosh at the top of the key gives it to Jones. Now it goes to Mario Chalmers. Not much time left for Miami. Screen's gonna come from Bosh. Bosh rolls. Chalmers pops the midi and he misses. LeBron James will grab the rebound and he's moving in transition. Defended by the smaller Chalmers is gonna attack the basket. He says get out of my way and gets the layup to go about 40 seconds remaining here and we're only down by three one more stop and we could tie this game with the three mario chalmers gives it down to wade wade a tough hook is off and we'll get the rebound get the ball to lebron james and get out the way mo williams is bringing up the ball he gives it to james james defended by wade lebron could attack the smaller wade instead he swings it to an open williams who shot rolls off the rim you've got to be kidding me mo Bro, Mo Williams got robbed. That was actually so unlucky. And the Cavs season might just end right here. We're going to have to intentionally foul. We're sending Mario Chalmers to the foul line. Chalmers' first one is off. Okay, we might have a chance. Second one for Chalmers is good, giving the Miami Heat a four-point lead. It's going to be tough, but we could overcome this deficit. Anderson Varejao is inbound in the ball. He's going to give it into LeBron James. LeBron is defended by James Jones. He's going to get the screen from Jamison. Now it goes to Jamison over to Parker for a three, and he misses. Varejao the rebound. Back out to Parker. Another three is up, and it's also off. Oh my goodness, Varejao grabbing all those boards, trying to stat pad late in the game but this one is over with lebron james with 34 points 12 boards and six assists but our season is going to end here a great playoff effort from lebron 35 8 and 11 in round number one but it just wasn't enough that heat team was too good and i think this offseason lebron's gonna be telling the cleveland front office get me some help this team sucks so hope Hopefully the Cavs can go out and do exactly that. Get some more hoopers on this team. They did not do that. Oh my goodness. Well, LeBron, I guess it's going to be all on your shoulders once again this season. Another season in the books and Derrick Rose wins the MVP award this year. Kyrie Irving ends up in Milwaukee because the Cavs, they were too good with LeBron to have a chance to draft Kyrie. James was once again named to the All-NBA First Team, averaging 27, 8, and 8. And this year, we won 45 games. A bit of an improvement compared to last season. And in the first round, we're going to be taking on the Indiana Pacers with a young Paul George but overall this team isn't too crazy I definitely think they're beatable especially because we have the best player in the series in LeBron we're tied up at two apiece after four games we'll win game five and they'll take game six 
setting up a winner go home game seven here. Come on, Bron, you can't lose to a young PG in game seven. Well, it looks like LeBron is gonna lose to a young PG in game seven. 30 from James, but just not enough from his teammates, I guess. Paul George with 24, and overall, it was just a team effort for the Indiana Pacers as they take down LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. James did his thing in the playoffs. Again, just needs more from his teammates. Hopefully this offseason, we can make some type of pickup to help out the team. Just maybe somebody above an 85 overall or something. Don't worry, help is on the way. Iman Shumpert is up to a 77 overall. Season is wrapped and Derrick Rose takes home the MVP once again. LeBron James, all NBA first team. I feel like he'd be taking home MVP awards if the team was doing better. And this year we were the eighth seed winning 39 games. In the first round we'll be taking on Chicago and we lose in five. I knew we were about to get dropped off by D Rose 25 PPG from Braun in round one is not gonna be enough but with us only winning 39 games I feel like we should have a decent pick in this year's draft oh we traded for a pick via Miami and it looks like it's gonna land at number two potentially hold on this could change everything and oh my goodness the pick was protected our own pick landed at number 16 but that's not really gonna to help us a ton we got Compazzo. i'm not too optimistic that we sign anybody great in free agency but it'd be cool if we did who are we paying all of our money anderson barajow and mo williams i don't understand why nobody wants to sign with the team that has lebron james maybe it's like joakim noah was talking about nobody wants to be in cleveland another season in the books and i'm actually really happy with the way things went this year we lost a lot of basketball games and you might be like like, why are you excited about that? Well, that means we'll be able to get a good draft pick. We lost 11 games to close out the year. Bron put up the Bron numbers, but the team was just too trash, which is fine because if we draft a good prospect, that literally changes everything. Oh my goodness, Miami's pick is now ours because it didn't convey last year. Remember, their pick was protected. So now we have that pick unprotected and we also have the third best odds at the first pick. Oh my goodness, we're about to land two good prospects. We get the number one and number three pick. This changes everything. And this is the 2014 draft that had Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic. It also had Wiggs. The Cavs had the number one pick in this draft in real life. They drafted Wiggs and then ended up trading him for Kevin Love. But I'm hoping we draft Embiid or Jokic. Maybe both of them here. We'll have to see. With the first overall pick, we get Nikola Jokic. A Jokic and Braun do in Cleveland the playmaking is going to be absolute insanity second overall the Spurs are going to take Embiid meaning that we'll probably go for Wiggins or maybe we even trade the pick oh no we're gonna go with Zach Levine I like that we get a two guard who can score the ball at a high level Jokic and Levine are on this team and I think we're also in a position this summer where we have cap space and now that we have these good young players maybe that'll attract some free agents to come with the team we can say hey we've got Bron we've got young talent this is a great squad to come to okay we didn't land any free agents maybe I was being too optimistic but I'm still excited about Levine and Jokic if we're not good this year we should be good in a couple of seasons and LeBron's only 29 years old meaning that we'll be able to contend with Bron in his prime and also real quick if you're enjoying the video so far I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing we're trying to hit 40k another season in the books and all LeBron needed was a little bit of help we ended ended up making it back to the playoffs this year. Braun was named the second team. The numbers went down a bit, but maybe he was just taking a back seat to let some of the other guys cook. In their rookie seasons, we had Jokic and Levine coming off the bench. The Joker gave us 13, 7, and 7, and Levine gave us about 12 a night. Not bad at all as we won 46 games, making it into the playoffs as the seventh seed. In round one, we're taking on Washington. We're tied up at two apiece after four games. They win game five, and we lose and six that's fine though i'm not too worried about us losing this year because we should see a lot of progression from Jokic and levine in the offseason meaning that the team will get significantly better yep Jokic is up to an 
85 overall and Zach Levine is up to an 81. They'll both be starters this season. And in even better news, we brought in Thanasis onto the Kumpo. Oh, we're about to win the championship. Another season in the books and this year we cracked 50 wins. LeBron James was on all NBA second team averaging less than 20 a night. What's going on with Bron, man? Oh, that's why they're only playing him 31 minutes a game. Yeah, we got to fix that. He's LeBron James. I don't know why, man. 2K has had the rotations messed up crazily lately. I'm just going to have to start setting them myself for these videos because, man, they, they don't know what they're doing. You're playing a prime LeBron 31 minutes a night. He would have the GM traded, the coach traded. He would have everybody fired. We're heading into the playoffs, and in round number one, we're taking on the Brooklyn Nets, of course, led by J.R. Smith. Game one will go to us. We also win game two. We're up three to zero, and we'll sweep them. Next up, we got the Boston Celtics. They've still got an old Paul Pierce. They've also got Kemba Walker, Kevin Love, Rudy Gobert, and Austin Rivers. Game one of the series will go to us. They win game two. We're going to take game three and four. They'll take game five. Come on, let's close this out and see. Six. We don't want this series going seven. We don't want to give him a chance to come back. All right, it looks like for the first time in this video, LeBron James is going to make the conference finals. He fouled out in 24 minutes in this game, but Levine, Shumpert, they had his back. And next up, it's going to be the Indiana Pacers. LeBron took on Paul George when George was younger, but now PG is in his prime. This series is going to be tougher. After three games, the Pacers have a two to one lead, but we'll take game four, meaning that we're all tied up headed into game five this is a big game and it looks like james and the Cavs didn't get the memo that this was a big game we lost by 37 points lebron with 25 Jokic with 16 nobody else really showed up in a big way for us and george gave us 33 so we're facing elimination headed into game six and in game six we're gonna get a 10 point dub setting up a winner go home game seven here we go it all comes down to this we're cooking them right now we're up big big in the third quarter we've still got a lead in the fourth oh my gosh we're blowing the lead they've outscored us 30 to 14 in the fourth lebron you can't lose like this man let's jump in this game and see if james and the Cavs can finish strong it hasn't been a good fourth quarter but we're only down by two brooke lopez is inbounding the ball He's going to give it in to Lamb. Lamb over to Knight. Knight is defended by Zach Levine. Knight swings it to Caspi. Caspi going to ball fake. He gives it to George. George oh, back over to Knight. Knight's working on Levine here. He's trying to attack the basket. Good defense from Zach. Knight's going to put up a tough shot. Is that really a foul, bro? First free throw for Knight is cash. Second one for Knight is also good. Giving the Indiana Pacers a four-point lead here. Mo Williams is bringing it up. He's going to get the screen from the Joker. The Joker rolls to the basket. Beautiful pass from Williams. Jokic smokes the layup. Oh, what a save from Jokic. That might have been the most athletic thing he's ever done. Now the ball goes to Mo Williams. Williams. Williams gonna get the screen from the Joker. The Joker rolls. Instead, this time though, Williams is gonna give it to James. James going up on George. Tough shot is off. Now the ball is gonna go up to Lamb. Lamb on the fast break gives it to Caspi. Now it goes to Knight. Knight attacking the basket here. He's gonna put up a floater and he'll miss it. We secure the rebound. We need to score here. Iman Shumper gives it to Williams. Mo Williams is defended by PG. Williams is gonna get the screen from Jokic. Now it goes down to James. James defended by Caspi. He goes up over two, misses, gets his own board, swings it to the Joker, and the Joker gets a layup to go. All right, we're only down by two, about 45 seconds remaining. We do not need to foul. Jeremy Lamb gonna get the screen from Caspi. Lamb gonna swing it over to George, who's wide open. Oh my gosh, you cannot afford to play defense like that on PG in the clutch. Come on, man, that's playoff P. We're down by five, 30 seconds remaining. We're gonna call timeout. Paul George and the Pacers are hyped. That was a huge three-pointer. If we don't score here, our season is probably over with. Ball's gonna go into LeBron. James barrel into the basket, pulls a midi and knocks it down. 26 seconds remaining. We don't have to foul, but the 2K CPU is stupid, so they are gonna foul. Lamb at the line. First one is good. Second one for Lamb is also good, giving the Indiana Pacers a five-point lead 
we're probably going to have to go for a three here. Mo Williams bringing up the ball. Williams going to get the screen from the Joker. The Joker rolls to the basket. Williams lobs it to Jokic, and Jokic is going to finish it home. Hold on, Jokic catching lobs, and now we're going to send the Pacers to the line again. Knight, first free throw is cash. Second one for Knight is also good. Ball's going to go up to Shumpert. Shump shoots a three, misses. Oh my goodness, Jokic flew in for that tip in, but we're going to lose. Brandon Knight gave us the business in this one Paul George was hooping and Jokic he tried his best with 28 Braun with 21 but we're gonna lose we were so close to making the NBA finals the Pacers went on to win the chip too so if we would have won that series we probably would have been champions but hopefully we can build off of that run and next year make it to the finals and win a chip the Joker is up to a 90 LeBron is up to a 99 Levine's up to an 83 everything is coming together here in Cleveland we we even signed Michael Kidd Gilchrist. We had money in free agency and we spent it on Michael Kidd Gilchrist, bro. Like seriously. And Jared Dudley. Whatever, man. We got LeBron and Jokic. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another season in the books. Derrick Rose takes home yet another MVP. LeBron James on all NBA third team this season as he averaged about 21 a night. And the Cavs ended up winning 48 games on the season. Jokic was great, man. He averaged 22, 12, and 9 a near triple double and Levine also did his thing in round number one of the playoffs we're going to be taking on the Brooklyn Nets we faced them in the first round last year and we beat them I think we'll be able to do the same thing this year yep we take them down in five next up is going to be Toronto uh-oh LeBronto y'all ready to lose they have Anthony Davis Jeremy Lin Bargnani oh no game one of the series will go to the Raptors they also win game two and three we got swept yeah that team was insane LeBron average about 19 a night in the NBA playoffs. Coach needs to start playing Braun more minutes. I literally have it set for him to play 40. He only played 34. In 2K25, they got to start fixing stuff like that, man. I feel like it's such an easy fix, and my NBA is such a popular mode. So my NBA would probably be even more popular if they fix some small issues like that. Anyways, LeBron James standing strong at a 99 at 32 years old. Jokic is up to a 94 and Zach Levine is up to an 85 the duo of LeBron and Jokic oh man they're gonna be absolutely crazy this year I have a feeling we make the one seed this season as the Joker starting to enter his prime season is wrapped and the Joker is gonna take home the 2018 MVP averaging 24 13 and 9 on the season and LeBron must have took a back seat to Jokic as James did not make all NBA this year only averaging 18 a night I said it for LeBron to play 37 minutes a game and he just didn't so shout out to 2k man but Bron here are the numbers in round number one of the playoffs we're going to be taking on the Bulls led by Derrick Rose we've seen Rose win quite a few MVPs in this video and we're going to take him down in five next up it's going to be the Toronto Raptors led by Anthony Davis we're up three to one on the Raptors come on man we beat them in five next up it's going to be the Celtics Kemba, K-Love, Rudy, a good team for sure. Game one of the series will go to us. We also win game two and three. They'll take game four and five. No, no. Okay, I was about to say, if we blew a 3-0, I was going to be so mad. But we're in the finals taking on Giannis, Dante Green, Monte Ellis, and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Game one of the series will go to Minnesota. We win game two. They win game three and four. Come on, Bron. You've come back from down 3-1 before four we lost in five Giannis is named finals MVP that was our first finals appearance of the video so far and we ended up losing but Jokic is still improving coming off of his MVP season so maybe that'll be enough to push us over the edge and help us win that championship season is wrapped Anthony Davis wins the MVP award LeBron James back on all NBA congrats old man also Jokic was on first team of course the GOAT and we won 53 games this year this might have been the best regular season we've had in the entire video round one we're taking on the nets is it another battle with jr no they don't have him anymore but they picked up isaiah thomas i saw it got a deal with the phoenix suns for the rest of the season congrats it and in round number one we're gonna beat them next up it's gonna be the washington wizards led by john wool they've also got buddy healed but overall not a crazy team at all i think we should be able to beat them we're tied up at two apiece we win game five and we beat them 
in six. Next up, it'll be the Toronto Raptors. We beat them last season en route to the NBA Finals. En route is a fire little saying. But anyway, we beat them last year. Hopefully, we can do it again. Game one, we'll go to Toronto. We win game two. They take game three, and we win game four. So let's jump in the Simcast for game five. I'd like to see some more gameplay of the LeBron and Jokic duo. And it, and it looks like we're going to get to see our guys hoop here in game five. We're down by three points, about two minutes to go, and we have possession of the ball. Levine's checked in, and so is Bron, but Jokic is not in the game right now. And he fouled out. Oh, no. Bro, he's been playing so well in the playoffs. All right, old man, you're going to have to do some carrying. Josh Smith is inbounding the ball. Jay Smooth, he gives it into LeBron James. James attacking Gallinari. Man, get out his way. LeBron going to lay it up and in. Lynn Sanity is bringing up the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Oh, what? Why is AD so open, bro? Josh Smith, what are you doing, man? Still only down by three points, though. About a minute and 45 seconds remaining. James going right at Gallinari, trying to take him to the basket. He's backing him down. LeBron going to fake a couple times. He goes up with the layup, misses, hits in the rebound. He swings it over to Josh Smith. Smith is defended by Davis. Josh Smith, I'd like it if you pass the the ball he gives it to Levine who's open in the corner and Zach knocks it down we are all tied up here big shot from the Zach attack Jeremy Lin is gonna get the screen from MCW Lin gives it over to Davis Davis fades away and he'll miss the Anthony Melton grabs the rebound Melton gives it over to Levine Levine has James in the corner but he's gonna take it himself he gets the screen Levine going to the basket here defended by Williams swings it out to Melton. Melton in the corner. Not much time left on the shot clock. We're all tied up. We need to shoot something, man. Do something. Levine's gonna get the screen from Hickson. Pull a three. He has some space. And Zach Levine back to back. Huge three pointers for the Cleveland Cavaliers here. We have a three point lead. About 45 seconds remaining. Jeremy Lin bringing up the ball. Lin gets the screen from Davis. Davis wide open in the pick and roll. But Hickson is able to recover and he ends up fouling him. Our pick and roll defense has kind of sucked. Davis at the line first free throw is cash second one for Anthony Davis is also good we've got a one point game with 40 seconds remaining the ball's gonna go into LeBron James James defended by Gallo here is LeBron gonna take it himself or give it to the red hot Zach Levine it looks like James is attacking and he's fouled by Gallinari LeBron first free throw is good second one for James is cash so we are up by three less than 30 seconds left here Raptors have the ball they just called timeout. It's simple math. Whatever you do, do not let up a three-pointer. Danilo Gallinari gives it into Williams. Williams is going to get the screen from Harris. Williams gives it down to Davis in the post. AD fades away and misses. JJ Hickson will grab the rebound. I don't know how good of a foul shooter Hickson is, but hopefully he can make at least one. First one is cash. Second one for Hickson is also good. So we've got a five-point lead. Raptors with no timeouts here. Michael Carter Williams. Williams bringing it up the Raptors in desperation need a bucket it goes to Harris for three and he misses that'll do it we're gonna win the big game five and we are one win away from making the NBA finals shout out to Zach Levine he came up huge in this one we needed somebody to show up with Nikola Jokic fouled out and Levine did exactly that now we can close this series out in game six we're gonna get the win in game six Levine a big game 27 points look at Zach go man he's having an incredible playoff run Jokic with a triple double and LeBron's kind of taking a back seat he's just chilling letting his guys cook and next up in the finals we've got a rematch against the Minnesota Timberwolves can Bron and company take down Giannis this time game one will go to us T-Wolves win game two and three but we're gonna take game four so we're all tied up headed into game five in the conference finals that game five was a momentum shifter after we won that one we were able to win game six and advance to the finals so needless to say a game five win here would be huge but we're not gonna get it LeBron has 25 Giannis has 33 and we are one game away from elimination in the NBA finals we can't let Giannis drop us off back to back years and it looks like we will manage the game six win shout out to Levine bro Bron also had 
31 and now we're headed to a winner go home game seven here either you take home the championship or you go home sad and it looks like we're gonna go home sad we get smacked in game seven Giannis beats us for the second time in a row this year things were definitely more competitive but in game seven we just ran out of gas Jokic had a solid game but nothing crazy same thing for Bron and Levine kind of sold but with our core still together hopefully we can build off of what happened last year and try and win the championship this year I and headed into this season I'm gonna move LeBron James over to the point guard spot he spent some time at PG around this time in real life overall I think Bron at PG rounds out our starting lineup well let's get into another season season is wrapped Anthony Davis wins the MVP award Jokic was on second team this year so was LeBron James moving him to PG was the right move oh my goodness I know ball we won 58 games on the year yet yeah, point guard Bron might just be here to stay in round number one we're gonna be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks and we're headed to a game seven in round one and the Bucks have Kyrie here we go man game seven Bron versus Kyrie shout out to 2k they've been giving me a lot of close games today we're all tied up at 101 apiece with a minute and one seconds to go that's kind of funny how that worked out Jared Allen is gonna give the ball into Dion Waiters Waiters is defended by Zach Levine Dion's gonna get the screen from Jared Allen Waiters has some room from three and he's gonna miss it Allen the rebound and he's gonna dunk it home that'll give the Milwaukee Bucks a two-point lead as LeBron James brings up the ball is that Brandon Jennings defending him come on Bron go to work he's gonna pull a mid-range and miss it now Mo Harkless has it for the Bucks he's gonna give it right to Dion Waiters we need a stop here bad if we let him score it'll be a two possession game Waiters gets the screen from Young pulls a three and he'll knock it down Dion Waiters man is he really gonna be the one to send us home 25 seconds remain here we're down by five we need to get something quick LeBron has it defended by Kyrie Irving James going to the basket here he's gonna pull a midi and miss that'll do it man our season is over we lost in the first round LeBron with 37 but it's not gonna be enough we were the two seed and lost to the seven seed and LeBron did regress a little bit in the offseason he went down one overall I know it says minus three that's because he went down two when I moved him over to PG but obviously him going down and overall didn't matter when he was at point guard because he played some great basketball so we're gonna keep rocking out with LeBron running the one another solid regular season in the books for the team we were out there playing good basketball Nikola Jokic named all NBA second team LeBron named a third team he continues to put up good numbers at the point guard position and we won 55 games really good stuff from the guys Zach Levine has been a great scorer for the squad and we head into the playoffs as the three seed in round number one we're going to be taking on the Boston Celtics and we sweep them round two it'll be the New York Knicks D Fox a bonus Andrew Wiggins Tristan Thompson a pretty well-rounded squad for sure and they're up three to one on us early we'll win game five and six all right a lebron 3-1 comeback let's see it oh new york is cooked in game seven we are gonna come back from down 3-1 the joker 32 10 and 9 levine with 31 and lebron with 19 next up it'll be toronto we've had our fair share of run-ins with this raptors team let's see if we can beat them once again okay we're down three to one we lost in five and lebron is 36 years old at this point that probably means what he has another 10 years in the tank we've seen what he's doing in real life but realistically since we're in the world of 2k lebron probably isn't gonna play too many more years as he's headed into his 19th season we've got to make the most of this team while we can let's lock in and win a championship season's wrap Nikola Jokic went crazy this season averaging 30 12 and 10 winning the MVP award shout out to the Joker man LeBron did not make all NBA this season it's fine La old you're what 37 you you don't have to make all NBA every year and this season we won 57 games making us the two seed in the east round one we'll be taking on the celtics 
and we beat them in five. Round two, it'll be New York. We've lost to them in the past, but this time we're going to take them down. And here goes Toronto again, man. We're probably about to get beat by AD and the Raptors. Yep, we're down three to zero. We got swept. Bro, the Raptors are too overpowered. Look at Jokic. He did everything he could to try and lead this team to a title, but it wasn't enough. And now my sunshine is headed into year 20. Who knows how many more seasons he has left. Also, Jokic is up to a 99 over all so that's pretty crazy well let's get into another year season is wrapped Nikola Jokic wins MVP no all NBA for LeBron and I have some sad news for you guys LeBron is going to retire at the end of the year meaning that this is our last chance to win an NBA championship in the first round we'll be taking on the Washington Wizards we beat them in five round two it's going to be the New York Knicks we beat them in six and in the conference finals we got Indiana they've still got Paul George they also picked Picked up Z and Darius Garland, a good team for sure. Game one of the series will go to us. We also win game two and three, and we're going to sweep them. We're advancing to the finals against Minnesota. One last LeBron versus Giannis duel before this video ends. Here we go. It's important to note that the Timberwolves were the seven seed this season and made it all the way to the NBA finals. They're up two to one on us early. We'll win game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up, and I accidentally jumped into SimCast Live. Get me out of here. What I meant to do was jump in the SimCast. I, I don't know how that whole SimCast cast live thing works it's really weird and it looks like we are gonna get the win in game five lebron james is one win away from an nba title in his last season that would be a perfect way to end off his career it's only right we get a close game with a minute to go we're up by one and we have possession of the ball on the timberwolves home floor d'anthony melton has the ball for the Cavs. he swings it over to levine levine pops a three and misses that's okay let's just get a stop here okay or we'll leave cash money chris wide open and he knocks down a three we're gonna call timeout the ball is gonna go to lebron james in his final season he needs to make a play to win his team the chip he's gonna get the screen from Jokic. lebron pulls a mid he misses the joker is wide open under the basket for the tip in w celebration from Jokic. All right, we're all tied up here. About 30 seconds remain in the game. Conley going to get the screen from Solinger. Conley dumps it down to Antetokounmpo. Giannis has the size advantage here. Puts up the layup. Misses. Goes back up and gets the layup to go. Is that Jetty Osman? I think it was. And he was getting absolutely bullied by Giannis there. But that's okay. We're only down by two. We have the ball. 24 seconds remain. LeBron going to swing it over to Levine. Now it goes back to James. LeBron's going to slow things down. He waits for the screen from Jokic. James dumps it down to the Joker on the roll. And Jokic lays it up and in to tie this game up with 12 seconds remaining. Now the Timberwolves can hold for the final shot. John Isaac going to give it in to Mike Conley. Conley is defended by James. Mike going to get the screen from Jared Solinger. He gives it down to Antetokounmpo. Giannis defended by Osman. Going to fade and he misses. We've got more basketball. We're headed to overtime. And in overtime, this game has remained close with 57 seconds remaining. We're down by two and we have the ball. MKG going to give it into Zach Levine. Levine gives it right to James. LeBron is defended by Conley here. LeBron, you should just attack the basket with the smaller Conley defending. Instead, James is going to get the screen. He dumps it down to Jokic and Jokic is going to lay it up and in. Our game is all time up once again the lebron and Jokic pick and roll oh my goodness it's absolute insanity john isaac is inbounding the ball he's gonna give it into chris middleton middleton gives it down to Giannis. Giannis finds jared solinger for three yeah no he's gonna miss isaac the rebound he swings it to Giannis onto the kumpo gonna fake a couple times now he swings it to solinger and solinger redeems himself after the missed three he's gonna lay it up and in down by two points here less than 30 30 seconds remain. MKG gives it into James, and the Cavs are going to call timeout for whatever reason. That's another thing 2K needs to fix. They just called timeout. Why would they call another? Well, now Cleveland has no timeouts left, which will make things a little bit more difficult. 
MKG is inbounding. He gives it into the Joker. The Joker over to Levine. Levine puts up a layup and gets it to go. Minnesota can waste a lot of clock here and leave us with barely any time to get a shot off. This game is all tied up right now. We've got to get a stop on Minnesota. Mike Conley has it. He's kind of just standing there. Eventually, the play will get started, but for now, he's just letting the clock wind down. Here comes the screen from Solinger. Solinger rolls to the basket. Conley gives it to Antetokounmpo. Giannis going to spin off of Osman and miss it off the backboard. Giannis Antetokounmpo with the shot clock violation as his shot misses off the side of the glass. 1.9 seconds remain. Ball's going to go into James. James heaves it up and oh my my goodness he almost made it but instead we've got double overtime bro imagine if Bron made that for the championship in his last season and in double overtime we're up by six points with only 43 seconds to go just get one or two more stops here and we should be good John Isaac is inbounding he'll give it into Middleton Middleton down to Antetokounmpo Giannis over to Middleton for a three Middleton misses and that might just do it LeBron James can seal the deal here at the foul line James first free throw is cash second one for James is also good and that will do it the Cleveland Cavaliers are NBA champions LeBron with the perfect ending to his NBA career there's Jokic holding up the trophy Jokic had 41 15 and 17 to close it out Levine with 31 7 and 9 James with 29 5 and 13 and Jokic wins finals MVP but come on man we gotta override it LeBron James wins finals MVP in his last season in 20 years pro LeBron won one chip two MVP MVPs, a Mickey Mouse Finals MVP, made 19 All-Star teams, 8 All-NBA First teams, and 5 All-NBA Second teams. Also, James finished second all-time in scoring to Kobe Bryant. LeBron only needed 12 points to pass Kobe. James was second all-time in field goals made, 8th in threes made, 13th in free throws made, 4th in assists, third in steals, and first in minutes. Also first in turnovers. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.